What's up, guys? MX Guru here. So, uh, quick, uh, just a pointer on adjusting the valves on a 2000. This is a 2010 CRF 250R. You're pretty much the same on all of them. Uh, get the head cover off. Get the spark plug out. That's a 14 mil. Uh, that'll let you turn the motor over a lot easier. Then take out this timing plug, which is maybe a six mil, and then this timing plug which is maybe a 8 mil or 10 mil can't remember and you've got a bolt in here and you turn that until this dot lines up with this point and you'll know because you can see that mark in there that mark is lined up with uh, this mark in the threads it's kind of hard to see see that right there those line up and also if it's in correct time these marks on your cam of course will be parallel with this head surface so knock that out take your feeler gauges this is a 0.13 millimeter I like to do everything in metric you're going to get in right this out of the way maybe <laughs> you're gonna get in right here and you're gonna slide that between the lobe and the bucket and you'll feel it and that is a good fit it's uh you you want your fit to be it needs to go in easily but still have a slight bit of drag and friction and that's where you know your fitment is and both of these intakes are good. See it come on the other side there. And then your exhaust is super easy on the Honda. It's obviously because of the Unicam rocker design. So you're just going to go in. I'm just using the same feeler gauge just to show you as an example. You use a bigger one around a 20 to check these. But just slide under the rocker arm and above the shim and get your, get your uh, measurement. And that's pretty simple, guys. That's how you uh, check valves on a CRF250R. Thanks.